I'm looking crazy. I don't care. But anyways, I'm going to hop into this. Now I want to talk about rape in horror films. And I want to talk about how a lot of people... I'm not I'm not going to try to offend anyone here. Just got done watching the movie Dead Girl. It's the unrated director's cut. Now aside from the whole, the whole movie, I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. It started off a bit slow. And with that, the characters did some unrealistic things, I thought. But then as the movie progressed, I seemed that they had to reach out a little bit to get the final product. And I was happy with the final product. It was it was well crafted and it had a good score and dialogue was a bit off, but I guess the acting was okay. Some of the characters really rubbed me the wrong way, but hell, I did enjoy the film and I liked it. Uh, good, it was shot very well, but that's besides the purpose. There are some graphic rape scenes in the movie. Not so much graphic, as the whole movie is just about rape. That's basically the whole thing. But raping a body, I'm not going to get into what the movie is about. It's really not about that. But I've come to, uh, people have recently, I, I think they're being more upset about, uh, there's a lot of movies coming out with rape and, you know, torture and stuff, and I know it's like the next level for it, it might be extreme for some people, then I don't think they should watch it, it's kind of like musicals, you know, come on here and make fun of musicals, I don't care, it's different though, because musicals won't offend you, rape will, but I mean, people should really do some research before they hop into things just not grab the next movie and be like, let's watch this. If it's called, like, anything with house in the title, somebody's getting raped, unless it's house. And it's a horror movie. So just anything, but I'm just saying, people have been getting really offended and they're trying to be like, it's made just for pure exploitative purposes. People are getting raped, so people get their jollies off. You know, don't get on your pedestal with me. I'm sorry. I like horror movies, and I like Sometimes I like them to be realistic. I like horrible things in horror movies. What else do I watch them for? I mean, there's a sick fascination in the world. It don't Everyone's fascinated with death. Everyone, it's some sort of way, fascinated with macabre. You know, I am. Lots of people are. You know, it's people coming in here and they say stuff like this. I usually don't rant. I This video, I'd be like, wow, who cares? But it just annoyed me. I just figured if somebody wanted to hear me, they can hear me. If they don't want to hear me, fucking rate me a one. I don't give a shit. Not trying to be a tick, but you guys do what you want. I'm just saying, you know, people come in here and pedestal. A uh, horror movie should be filled with horrible themes. And the worst of the worst is for the more extreme people that want to see stuff. I've already surpassed. I started watching horror movies when I was four or five years old. I was watching stuff like Hellraiser by 8, Nightbreed 10, stuff like that. Dawn of the Dead was my favorite movie at 10 years old. Before that, I went like four, I was watching universal horror movies and cartoon horror movies. I'm just saying, as it progressed on, I, I naturally got into more stuff. By the age of 14, I was watching Cannibal Holocaust. 15, maybe 15 or 16, I was watching Cannibal Holocaust. By the age of 13, I was watching, 12, 13, I was watching Fulci. It just, it happened that way. It's, I'm just saying, as time progresses, your horror tastes get more extreme. It's kind of like, uh, lots of things are like that. You know, I guess it's kind of like addiction. You take, uh, you start off with just one pill, and then pretty soon you need like 20 to get your you know, to get entertained. It's not to get my kicks off. I don't, I don't sit there and jerk off during my horror movies, okay? I'm just saying that I like horrible things in my horror movies because that's realistic. Rape happens all the time. Rape happens more than anyone would like to think. And these movies are, they don't let people know. I mean, don't be scared to watch something because it has rape in it. I mean, it happens. You can't block out something that doesn't happen. I mean, you can't say, well, I'm not watching a horror movie. I don't like war. I don't like war. People love to watch war. People love to watch people get blown to pieces, but they're scared to watch somebody get raped. It's sickening, yeah, but it happens a lot. It happens all the time. You know? And this is a part of the world, and it's in horror movies. It happens. A lot of it's exploitative, but those movies are aimed at certain audience that want to see that stuff. I mean, no no little church-going guy that goes every day to church and wouldn't watch a horror movie in his life is going to go down a 42nd Street and watch a, a triple feature a fourth century and thriller or cruel picture. So I'm just saying that if you don't like the stuff, steer clear from it and don't try to put your nose up because there's tons of different things that people are into. I mean, there's certain things. No one's no one's getting hurt by these movies. No one's feelings are getting hurt. No one's laws are getting stepped on. That's what I'm just saying, you know? It's a movie. Film is film. Some of it's art, some of it's not. Some of this entertainment. Stand by it. Thank you.